And hello guys, welcome back to uh, Open Foam. So we have found uh, something on that looks like a boundary layer solution that we are looking for. So just want to let you uh, take a look, take a look at the, the solutions. Okay. Okay. So this is the solution we got, and this is the time at zero point one. Of course, you can use the this top left hand corner buttons to kind of rescale so they can help you see the color scheme better. And if you want to look at the boundary layer, grow, you just uh, scroll through the time from um, 0 to 1 all the way up to 0 0.5. Because uh, the time given is only 0 0.5, there are, the 0 0.7 is probably from another kind of a yeah another system another uh, data point that was there because of the other uh, flat plate uh, foam uh, things that were there uh, flat plate flat, flat plate foam files that were there okay so uh, it goes from 1 to 0 0.5 okay so you can see the boundary layer actually growing over time because this is a transient solution of course, if you want, uh, if you want to ensure it is a steady state solution, you can actually run this thing for a longer time. And just to save you time, I actually have done that already. Okay, so uh, I've done it here in uh, I think let me see, long time. Yes, the long time file. Okay, so it's the same thing. So I'll just uh, keep playing. Okay, so you see the boundary layer sort of uh, grows over time. After about five seconds, that doesn't really that much more change, especially after this halfway point. Okay, so that's the characteristic that we see of uh, this uh, boundary layer solution. Now, the important question is, is this uh, some a solution we can trust? And are we doing our our simulations right? Okay, so the most surefire way to, to do it is one of the most uh, easiest way to do it is to take a look at this boundary layer thickness. Okay, I'm gonna paste it here. Okay, boundary uh, layer later layer thickness. So this is the formula. This is where the formulas come from. Okay, so in theory, according to the Blasius flow solution, uh, the boundary layer for the laminar flow should look like this. Okay, the boundary layer for the laminar flow should uh, vary according with x in this manner. So I've done that in Excel. Okay, um, so where we have x from 0 0.1 all the way up, where did we get this 0 0.1 from? I want uh, to point your attention to block mesh dict and we take a look all right this scale is in uh, units of 0 0.1 so it is actually 0 0.1 meters so when you type in one uh, x coordinate of one that is actually 110 uh, centimeters okay because we have this scale factor of 0 0.1 now without further ado we shall continue so I have mm, put in the Excel file. We have 0 0.491 times the square root of the viscosity here, which is uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 6, and then the velocities. Okay, the velocity. And the velocity is 1. Oops. CD0. Yeah, U. Okay. The velocity is one, and the scale there's no scale factor, so it's a it's a uniform velocity of one, and then it's divided by the current x coordinate. That will give us the. I mean, yeah, it's not divided; it's multiplied by the x coordinate. So as you can see, the new times x, which is the kinematic viscosity, times the x coordinate divided by the uh, speed, the free stream velocity. And what do we have? We have a delta that is like so. And, okay, 
and uh, just to ensure that this is a laminar uh, flow condition we know that the rate we know that the uh, you should know by now the critical Reynolds number to transition from a lamina to turbulent is 500,000. So at x equals to 0 0.5, which is about okay, which is about halfway through, you can trust this solution because this is a flow. This is a solver for laminar flow. Uh, for turbulent flow, there needs to be some other kind of modeling uh, in place. Okay, so uh, yeah, we need to we need to do that. I'll close Spotify. Yeah, we need to do that. Uh, you just trust it up to about half the halfway mark, so to speak. All right. Now where where was I? Yes, the X alpha. Yeah. So this is the Reynolds number. It is U X U times X. So this is the X. A five is X. This is the uh, velocity. This is the kinematic viscosity. So that will give you the Reynolds number. And um, just to help us visualize a little better, uh, I've divided delta over the uh, height of this, of this from here to here. This is actually 10 centimeters or 0 0.1 meters. So I've uh, decided to divide and then you times 100% just to kind of explain how, how what's the percentage of the length we should expect our our boundary layer to take. So this is a thick a percentage of uh, this entire thing. So this is the this uh, this is percentage of this and uh, the percent. Okay, let's put it this way: the boundary layer will take up this percent of this length from the top to the bottom okay so how can we see the boundary layer okay just point your attention here to rescale to custom data range so we have the boundary layer of uh, 0 0.99 times of the uh, free stream velocity so we can just do a rescale from 0 0.99 to 1 and that will give us uh, below 0 0.99 all the the color is blue above 0 0.99 you uh, will get into red so just ignore the white part okay ignore the white part uh, you can focus more on this uh, blue part the blue part will tell you where the boundary layer is okay so to zoom in you can just uh, click where is the zoom button here it is can just uh, click this one and then yeah that will show you where the boundary layer is okay so uh, yeah yeah that will give you the rough boundary layer thickness so what do we notice here um, if we plot x versus delta for instance we just do a scatter plot okay yeah it's a bit difficult to see where it's uh, the trend is never mind yeah but uh, we see that uh, let's say from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 the variation in the boundary layer thickness isn't that much which is what is um, kind of predicted here it's like growing from 2.6 percent to about 3.5 percent so it's not really very noticeable most of the change actually happens within the first 10 centimeters or so uh, towards the left here so in terms of the the graph trends, uh, this is kind of uh, accurate enough. Okay. Uh, so yeah, but you notice that uh, after. Okay, after the let's see, let's see where is it. Oops. Oh, that's my Excel file. Yeah, after about 0 0.5, uh, uh, or about 50 centimeters, less than one meter, yeah, you you overshoot the Reynolds number of 500,000. So whatever we have, 0 0.6 and onwards, we cannot really trust it. So we might want to cut that out of the simulation. 
Okay, so turbulent, turbulent flow, pro, flow profile. We will we can discuss in another video. But yeah, just to have a nice file, so to speak, you can actually just get rid of anything above uh, five centimeter or fifty centimeters. So let's just. Uh, Okay, you can just delete this one. Five. Okay, or we should put six because that's uh, it starts at uh, 10 centimeters and then it start, it goes to 60. So that's 50 centimeters. Okay. Then we can just have about 100, 100 uh, spacings. Okay, so All right, later we can run it again. So this uh, turbulent part we can just ignore. I'm cutting that out of the uh, I'm cutting that out of the simulation. And these are the boundary layer lengths. So I'm doing the same thing for the turbulent boundary layer. Uh, but uh, we don't really need to care about that now. We just want to focus on this this uh, part I'm highlighting. Okay. And yes. Anyway, uh, the other thing I want to point us to is the mesh size. Can we see select cells here? Okay. Okay, wrong one. Let me actually use. Okay. Where is it? Select point, select cell. So okay, there you go. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show us. So let's zoom in. Okay, so press here where you want to zoom and then just draw it out. That will give you the box. Yeah, you notice in the boundary layer there are only like two cells over there. Well, um, yeah, the reason why it might not exactly be uh, this solution, about three, three-ish percent um, of the full thing, of the full length, is perhaps because the 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 mesh here is too coarse. That means the cells are too big. Well, if you look at uh, the Blazius uh, uh, example, you notice that we have uh, more than enough mesh over here. Oh, this is a temperature profile. It's a heat transfer. Sorry. So if you just look at the velocity temperature, we don't really care yet. Look at the velocity profile and look at the mesh sizing for this case. You look at the mesh, it's a very fine mesh over here at the boundary layer. Okay. So this is something we need to take note of. We probably want a very, 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 very fine mesh at the boundary layer. Okay. So we kind of want to do that. Okay, so we're gonna we gonna want to change. We just refine this to make sure it's about there, about more correct, so to speak. So where do we adjust the mesh grading? Uh, there are two things we can adjust. One is the number of cells in the y direction. So maybe let's double that. Okay. Um, and then maybe we get a 20 to 1 ratio so that we have most of the cells at the bottom. Okay. And then we'll go to control dict and let's uh, give it more time to converge. One point, oops, end time at 1 1.0. 1.0. And let's run the file. Okay, so we'll wait for it a while. Hopefully the mesh uh, comes up nicely. So if you want to check the mesh now, we don't have to wait. You can just copy and paste uh, this, this file over. Okay, I'm going to delete this file. I'm going to paste it over here. 
then, then we can check out our geom geometry. Okay, so let's go for the low viscosity one. Let's check out geometry. And we can do a select cell. Yeah, this is perfect. You look at look at how fine how finely graded the, the geometry is at the boundary layer. So this is exactly what we want. Alright. This is exactly what we want. Um yeah, so um, we will wait. We will wait for the thing to run. It's almost uh, finished already. Yeah. Okay, so if we if we change, uh, yeah, if we don't want to select it, we we'll just select the points outside, and that will just clear the selection. Let's see the wireframe. Yeah, the wireframe is very very nice. Uh, it's it shows the it shows the uh, correct resolution, and remember we are only uh, simulating laminar boundary layer. So at the end of the day, yeah, we cut off uh, like half of the ends, you know. So yeah, it should be done by now. We can port this over. Can uh, copy this over. Okay, so let's open the new one. We can delete this old one. Let's open the new one. Let's go for U and play. So yeah, that really looks much finer than we had uh, we were doing in the last one. So in fact, this, this looks more like 3% than let's say the coarse mesh version. Okay, we look at the archive. Uh, my, that's my archive anyway. So we look at the same velocity profile. All right, scale it. Or we do a custom scaling 0 0.99 to 1. Yeah, we look at this. This boundary layer is so thick which is kind of a bit more than the 3% that we expect. But this looks a lot more than the 3% because we have enough of the mesh grading. We have enough uh, mesh there to show a very good resolution kind of an image and that will give us the 3% and perhaps the... Yeah, perhaps the end of the... the boundary layer. Yeah, so that's about 3% yeah of course you you probably want to measure measure the thing properly to see whether it's uh, three percent but but not sure it does look like the correct uh, correct variation yeah about three percent of the the entire thing okay so let's you can play the movie like that okay so we will stop we can delete this one first Let's see whether we can loop this thing and see whether it's a steady state, you know? Yeah, that's how that's how the boundary layer is growing. So we don't need to loop. Yeah, so more or less it, it, it is stable. It looks stable to me. Yeah, that's about that. It's going to stabilize pretty soon. Um, then we can look at the, the central part. Yeah, that's what the boundary layer should look like. Okay, so if you want to rescale to maybe 0.9621, so you can see the color difference. Yeah, this is what the you can look at the the variation in the in the uh, increasing x direction. It really looks like a square root graph this time round. You look at the left and it goes up. Yeah, 
and does look like a square root valuation, which is quite characteristic of a laminar boundary layer. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much it uh, for laminar flows. Uh, we have learned a fair bit on how to uh, change our change our cavity file into a boundary layer kind of a file. So um, we have learned how to write scripts such as the run script over here. We have also learned how to change some of our system files like the block mesh dict and the control dict dictionary. And we have also learned how to vary our viscosity. This is for our icofoam kind of a solver. Of course, OpenFoam can do much, much more than this, but these are the basics which you need to know. And uh, yeah. And of course, in uh, any uh, computing work, you definitely want to get uh, you put your put your files on an online repository such as GitHub. So probably in the next video, I uh, want to uh, put uh, these these files on GitHub. So uh, I'll talk about that next time. And then the next thing we want to look at probably. We can look at uh, we can look at uh, turbulent flow. We can look at turbulent boundary layers and see what kind of solvers are available for that. And the other thing, of course, we can look at the the heat conduction, heat transfer, uh, open form files. So these are in tutorials. So, okay. These are <coughs> these are in tutorials, and we go to basic. And then we can see this thing called Laplacian flow. Okay, this is where the heat conduction tutorial folder is. So this this is another interesting thing we want to look. We uh, OpenFoam is very useful for, and we'll probably want to take a look at how you know how to use this kind of uh, simple solvers. All right. So thanks for watching uh, with me. It's been a very uh, long series of videos uh, learning how to uh, change all these files in order to get OpenFoam to do what we want it to do. So appreciate your patience. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.